Mikhail Koyada is the 22-year-old Russian from St. Petersburg, third after the short program. Two points out of second place, four points out of first. A winner at the Grand Prix of China earlier this season. on the podium in each of his Grand Prix assignments, in addition to the victory in Beijing. Was third in Moscow at the Grand Prix of Russia. Season altogether marked by some inconsistency, however. Opening quadruple Lutz gets so much power on the takeoff, but coming down on the heel of the blade, unable to hold on to that edge. New to his arsenal, the quadruple Sao Cao. Off into the outside, yet again with the fall. And the triple axle, such a solid jump but you have to think that the confidence is shaken after the early mistakes on the quad. Recovery, quad toe, triple toe in the second half of the program. Beautiful triple axle pulls the landing of the double toe. Triple Lutz, half loop, triple Sao, getting a lot of points on these easier triples. And then there's the single loop. Beautiful triple Lutz to end the jumping passes. Some early mistakes, but a great recovery for Kolyada late in the program.
Now the race is certainly on to see who's going to be Russia's next top male skater after the retirement of Evgeny Plashenko. Cole Yada, and at the age of 22, certainly a contender for that status. And we'll get his scores from the free skate at the Grand Prix Final. Here we come back, looking at that late quadruple toe, triple toe. So important for him to find that confidence late in the program. After the earlier mishaps in this program, the mistake on the quad lutz, the fall on the quad sal, and then even stepping out of that triple axle early on, just giving up a lot of points early in the grade of execution. That makes it so difficult when you're trying to match the technical content of someone like Nathan Chen, and you have those mistakes on only three quad passes, and you're up against someone with six or four with Shoma Uno. You have to get as many points as Again, third place after the short program, and right now, a second best free score. Season's best total leaves him in second place with one skater left to go. And that's a huge score for what he did. Making those mistakes early in the program, a lot of generous grade of executions to hold him up late. But wow, that is a very close score to Nathan Chen's, who, in my opinion, should be much higher.